We're going to be unpacking the MX2001 Bluetooth low energy water level data logger and an associated cable with a direct read water, uh, direct read cable that connects the sensor to the logger. This is the five meter cable. Here's how the cable comes packaged from the factory. The jacks are protected with these little plugs in here and we'll get into that in a minute once we unpack our logger. Put that off to the side. Here's the logger. This is the way it comes packaged from the factory. The box is taped shut. We see the model number, the description, serial number of the device. We're going to open up the packaging with our trusty Leatherman tool and we'll open up the box. First thing we see is a calibration certificate. Basically tells us that it passed calibration here at the office. And here's the test data. And it gives you some, uh, some information about uh, how we tested it, the equipment that was used, etc. Hold on to that for our records. Here's the logger assembly. This is the data logger in the top end. This is the sensor here. Comes with the batteries. Also included is a quick start guide. And uh, this is an FCC, Federal Communications Commission, statement about uh, radio interference. May need to hold on to that if you're so inclined. And here is the quick start guide that talks about how to install the batteries. Um, so we're going to do that. We're going to show you how to do that right now and how to connect your uh, your direct read cable. So here's our logger. This is the top end of the logger. So here we can see the serial number and the model number, etc. This is the top end. Right in here is where the uh, this is the barometric pressure port right in here. You want to make sure this never goes underwater or your barometric pressure values will be incorrect. So to get the batteries installed we just need to unscrew the body from the cap. There's an o-ring there. You can see that. Just set that aside and grab onto the electronics. There is a desiccant pack here. We'll just set this aside for a moment. Here's the electronics. This is the the end where the direct read cable connects. Up here is where the Bluetooth low energy communications information is. Uh, the, the antenna, uh, the barometric pressure sensor, etc. So what we want to do is we want to put the batteries in this device. The reason we don't ship these devices with the batteries in them is because as soon as you put batteries in them they begin to advertise their, their availability uh, via Bluetooth low energy. So. Um, you don't want it to be transmitting any information when it's in transit. It's probably not a good idea. So we always recommend taking the batteries out. So we put the batteries in. Again, this board is fairly delicate, so you want to be careful. We're, gonna, we're observing the plus and minus polarities. There we go. So our batteries are in place. We'll install it back into the housing. And very straightforward here. Put our desiccant pack back inside. Screw our cover back on. Now we're ready to connect the direct read cable to the logger. Now we want to connect the cable between the data logger. So this is the data logger here and the pressure sensor which is here. Just move our box out of the way. So here's our pressure sensor. has our pressure range on it. This is a 4 meter uh, rated depth pressure sensor. The nice thing about this device, it can be assembled in the field. If you wanted to have just one of these and buy different pressure ranges or maybe different cable lengths, you can do that and swap them out quite easily. So here's my cable. You can see there's the connector, it's one end, there's the other end, okay, and simply these are double O-ring protected, and there's also a 
you can see here there's a, a strain relief here in the uh, in the end of the connector to uh, prevent the cable from uh, too much stress being put on the connector. So this ends with the strain relief on it goes on the logger and again this is called out in the um, in the quick start guide as well but basically you can see this is just a a, a typical uh, simple jack connection we just slide it in to the jack and you just make sure that seats right in there nice and tight again it's double o-ring protected and then we just screw this down it doesn't have to be super tight just snug it again tight as tight as we say no need to uh, go crazy because you're going to have to eventually take that off at some point so you don't want to make it too too tight as well this is the pressure sensor end you can see it's potted here epoxied and again double o-ring protected pop that together again so it seats tightly and screw that down again tight as tight there we go and now we're ready to I'm going to make sure this is snugged at the end also you don't have to go crazy tightening this down you don't want to it's just plastic so you don't want to break it but snug is snug is good and now what you want to do is download the app install it on your device your smartphone or your tablet and then make sure you can communicate with the logger um, and you can configure it ahead of time if you wish or simply take it out in the field and get it mounted in your stilling well or your monitoring well, wherever, that's, wherever the device is being deployed.